amazingly, as we go through the show, um, I research different products that I think would be really cool for our listeners and our viewing audience to see. And uh, I'll tell you what, Scott, uh, came across uh, what you guys are doing here. Um, it's pretty impressive. Um, and so uh, maybe you can just talk a little bit about the background of the company, um, some of the different products that you're representing, uh, that whole inspiration to uh, what you're doing here, if you wouldn't mind. Sure, yeah, I don't mind at all. So we're a medical technology company, and our U.S. headquarters is in San Francisco, California. And our company was founded by myself and other friends, like back in Charlottesville, Virginia, while I was in school, University of Virginia. And mainly we make rehabilitation devices for stroke survivors, as well as the uh, software for that. So our flagship device is called the uh, Rapiel Smart Glove. The main idea is you're going through a lot of repetitive movements if you are a stroke survivor. Right. So instead of like squeezing rubber ball 500 times a day, we actually invented a program as well as the wearable device. So you're actually like virtually squeezing the orange or catch a baseball yep. or even like cooking. Okay. So you can do it virtually so that the repetitive reactions can be more engaging, but at the same time, it's actually measurable. So as long as uh, you play the games, like it tells you how much progress you've been making over time in the okay. comfort of home. Right. Well, I'll tell you what, maybe you can, maybe we can get into the glove a little bit. Sure. And, you know, and how this can impact uh, stroke victims out there, because a lot of times they lose that mobility and stuff, yeah. correct? Yeah. So the smart glove that I mentioned really became like foundational motivation for this because we have uh, more than 1,000 Americans are uh, using our smart glove at home. But then again, uh, we got the uh, voice of customer talking about where they are. Like you said, like some people don't even have the uh, mobility. So they're actually looking for something a lot more functional. Right. So we came up with this device called Neo Mano, literally meaning new hand. So it's our la latest technology. Okay. And what it does is it's, it's a robotic hand solution developed for people with paralysis. Okay. So if you can move your hand, a lot of things become frustrating. Like right. things that we take for granted, for example, opening and closing the door and, you know, holding coffee cup, tooth brushing, even like handshake. Or writing. Right? Yeah, or writing. Just like even like just holding a pen. That's such an activity for them. Right. So we came up with this device and it's worn by three fingers, okay. and it's controlled by the uh, wireless controller connected through the uh, Bluetooth. And then what it does is, once you hit the uh, grip button, yep. then it's making a grip for you. Okay. So I can grip, grab a ball here, for yep. example, grab it, and do this. And then if you hit the uh, release button, it goes back to neutral position. Oh, okay. So, <clears throat> and you both have it for both left and right-handed? Yeah, yeah. Because that, sometimes stroke patients don't is it their left side that gets affected most of the time? That's absolutely true. And a lot of like stroke survivors and spinal cord injury patients, Lou Gehrig disease, yep. they have like both sides a like weakened hand. So yeah. this is actually uh, like, like uh, this is uh, supposed to be used by the, uh, your wrist. So okay. instead of uh, you know you, you're using your fine motor skill, right? It's like just hit this like to make a grip, it's like this. Yeah. So that's why we uh, made it as a necklace, right. so that you can just like wear it around your neck, and do it like this way. What if you have a lot of spasticity in your in your fingers? Uh, my daughter has MS. She has a lot of it oh, in her legs, oh, but oh. not in her hands yet. But what happens when you can't move it? Will that thing? help you move it that's could it uh, could it exercise it maybe or is it doing something to keep it flexible I, i'm just wondering yeah i mean that's a great question so that's why we actually came with like this feature yeah for people who have the uh, spasticity yep it's like you can actually use this like to uh to uh, pull fingers oh, okay yeah i got it for example like for people who have like lugaric disease yep their hands is like this yep and stroke, it's like contracting, it's got tons. Right. So what this does is like you can actually pull the fingers 
so that uh, you can be uh, like ready okay. for grabbing something. So it's a therapy, really, tool as well. Yeah, it could be therapeutic, and uh, but like for actual therapy, like we we we, we have the uh, smart glove. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, for opening and closing. Right. Which is part of the uh, target motions. This is our flagship device called Rapiel Smart Glove for home. So instead of using traditional method of rehabilitation for stroke, we actually came up with the software as well as the wearable device that actually can be, all the motions of the uh, glove can be recognized by the software. And we do have the game content. So using the uh, game concept, you can actually uh, virtually do a lot of day-to-day -day activities. For example, this is like one of the uh, chopping games. And then it starts with the calibration to figure out what the uh, individual motion, range of motion is. And then now you're moving on to the uh, actual cooking session. So this is a lot more engaging and it actually collects all the data. So instead of being told, yeah, you look better, this actually tells you how much progress you've been making over time. And obviously for me, this is like very easy, but if you have any like hand deficit due to the neurological conditions, then just like moving a little bit is really challenging. So for them to be involved with the um, repetitive motion over and over for their neuroplasticity, it's a lot more engaging and more objective way of like, rehabilitation using our device. Scott, you spent a year in Fargo, North Dakota. That's pretty cool, you know? And, and you said it was a good experience, huh? It was actually my first America, and then I made a lot of good friends. I got good education, so I have a like, big heart for Fargo, North Dakota, or North Dakota State in general. All right. Well, we're glad that you had a chance to have a good experience, and look at what he came back. All that knowledge from Fargo to develop this hand and all these other uh, cool, useful tools. So, Scott, thank you very much for your time. We wish you well with uh, everything that you're doing. Um, you know, I think that this is a uh, mechanism that's going to help a lot of people thank to you. feel more useful thank you. about their lives. Me. Okay? Appreciate it. God bless you.